Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript for in loop will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. So the for in loop will iterate over enumerable pro uh, properties of an object. What that means is that the, uh, the object must have key, the like key value pairs. So it can also be an array because by default an array has a numeric key, like starts from zero to one. So as you can see here, I created an article on jumbo.com for how to explain more of, of, about the JavaScript for in loop. Uh, obviously JavaScript runs in a web browser for client side interactive or automated web applications. There are some server side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. I've created some tutorials on that, usually Node.js, uh, Tori and others. Uh, I believe I created one using uh, Rust as well, programming language. So uh, we can see here if we go to ojumboshop.com, I'm going to use the web IDE uh, to go through this tutorial. You can use any web browser you like or you, if you get the ojumboshop.com uh, JavaScript course, you can follow along. So let's begin. If you recall, you can always go and paste as well in the web ID. So first thing I'll do is I'll create a, an object, I'll call it pickup truck. And I'll have a brand. And I'll make it Ford. Give it a model. And that will be the F series. And finally, there will be the year 1984. Then we'll create another variable. This will just be an array. Okay, I made a mistake here. This should be an underscore. Okay, then see the problem is if you do not have loops, you have to console log everything. So I put brand here. model and the year and of course you can also do the same thing with the uh, the numbers so we'll start at zero one Two, as you can see, I'm just repeating the same things over and over again. Now with the for, for in loop, for select key in pickup. Truck console dot log pin the key. Then I use the concatenation pick pick up truck. Pickup truck key. That's good enough. I close it off. You see that? Just three lines instead of how many lines before. Then we can also do for the numbers. Uh, select n in even numbers. 
console.log and plus even numbers okay now I can compile this see it, when we print them out uh, using console and then we can also just use the loop from here it's a loop it's, it's much more easier you can print everything out uh, much more easier you can have more uh, content to print out or manipulate as I said before the article you can find it out of for jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen four hyphen in hyphen loop the links are in the description you can expand the code snippet here I explain how to use the for in loop uh, this is just a screenshot of the in the code editor and this is the output and this is the video watching right now and of course if you want to learn JavaScript uh, online at your own pace all you need is a web browser, it comes with JavaScript, it comes with all the content you need, you just follow along as you just saw you go to ajumboshop.com and make sure to use promo code SCHOOL for 20% off until the end of 2024 this doesn't mean that when 2025 comes uh, you have to pay extra. Once you pay for this, you're good. And if you prefer just the ebook so you can learn uh, by yourself without an, I, an, an IDE or uh, if you have just your own web browser, then the, this you can download this ebook to your reader of your choice from Amazon. The links are also in the description or right here in the references. You see the learning JavaScript course on ajumboshop.com, learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you want personal tutorials or need help with applications or custom websites, you visit ojumboservices.com. Thank you.